Coach Prime and the Jackson State Tigers could actually break the internet again come July. This is going to be fun to see what happens with a five-star from the state of Alabama who was once a lock to go to Alabama, but now could end up at Jackson State. Let's talk about it after the bumper. What is up, everybody? What is up, everybody? My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel and Victory Formation. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and notification bell because we upload every single day. Jackson State is in on a five-star from the state of Alabama, and he has actually announced that he will be committing to one of four schools on July 8th, that young man goes by the name of Peter Woods. Now, we've actually spoken about Peter Woods on this program before when Peter Woods announced that he got a scholarship from Jackson State and said that even though they jumped in to his recruiting late, that he is going to strongly consider joining the Tigers because of everything that they are doing. Let's take a look at the graphic. Well, not this. At the graphic that was put up by Haas Fawcett, <clears throat> Hayes Fawcett, since breaking five-star defensive lineman Peter Woods has set his commitment date for July 8th. The top 25 player in the class of 2023 will choose between Alabama, Florida, Clemson, and Jackson State. They need to update and shout out to the 1400 Club and Swag Buzz for letting these folks know, hey, use the block JSU next time. Let, let's let's get rid of this. Oh, uh, Hayes Fawcett is one of the high-level recruiting graphic designers out there for On3. Let's let's get the updated JSU block JSU for the graphics moving forward. But anyway, that's beside the point. As you see, Mr. Peter Wood, Peter Woods, five star, top 25 player in the country, top, you know, four or five player in the state of Alabama. Alabama has a ton of talent coming out in the class of 2023. And you see one thing that I always do when, when I see these things is I see which fan base represents the most up under a post like this, right? Like when commitment dates are set or Hayes Fawcett puts out a graphic with the top three or top four, I see which fan base is making a lot of noise. And of course the JSU fan base well represented. You see, a video of Walter Payton. You see a JSU hat. You see more Jackson State stuff. Another JSU video. Then you see the JSU haters. He's getting money from Jackson State because guess who put that out there? Alabama. <coughs> and a lot of the Jackson State faithful, more the I love, prime, uh, veteran stadium down there in, at 1400 Lynch Street. The I love. So you see the Jackson State faithful. Well, you see a little Clemson in there, but it's a whole lot of JSU blue. Like a whole lot of JSU blue. Now, granted, that doesn't mean the young man is going to Jackson State. Like that, that doesn't mean that. But what I find interesting is that Peter Wood is from the state of Alabama. He goes to Thompson High School, which if you follow HBC recruiting, is the same high school of incoming freshman at Grambling, Ryan Peppins, who won – player of the year who win the uh, Mr. Football down there in Alabama. That's the same high school Ryan Pepin. So this is one of Ryan Pepin's teammates, uh, former teammates, that is. And so you see that he was once, at least from what I understand and all the stuff that I've done, the research that I've done, he was once a lock, pretty much a lock to go to Alabama because a lot of the top players from the state of Alabama, those top three to four to five players, especially in a class like this one, the class of 2023 in Alabama is ridiculous. They choose Alabama. They go to play for Nick Saban. They go to play for the Crimson Tide. They go to, you know, try to win national championships at the FBS level. But Peter, his th decision, it, it was interesting. He added Jackson State to one of his top choices right after the Nick Saban, Travis Hunter comments. It's like right after the Nick Saban, Travis Hunter comments is when he got his off from JSU is when he and, and is when he let the world know that JSU had a legit shot. Now, let's go to the on three article where Peter kind of describes why he might choose JSU or why that program is something that's good for him. It says Jackson State, quote, the vision coach prime has for the program excites me. 
Wood said. The culture of the program centers a lot around the man and the player I want to become. And you're getting developed by someone who's already been there before. That's big. Because those are the same kind of sentiments that Travis Hunter said when he chose Jackson State. And the first time, or one of the first times, Jackson State really broke the internet. Jackson State, I'd say, first broke the internet, at least since Coach Prime has been there. His, his introductory press conference, that broke the internet. got millions of views. Then you got Travis Hunter committing, signing with Jackson State. That broke the internet. Then you got Coach Prime calling out NFL teams that didn't show up to their pro day. That broke the internet. That, that got over a million views on my Twitter. So, and now if you get a young man like Peter Woods, a five-star, and I'm going to show you how good he actually is just based off the recruiting rankings. Now, this isn't everything. But based off the recruiting rankings, he's pretty freaking good. And he goes to a school that's won three straight state championships, Thompson High School in Alabama. Also produced Ryan Pepin's Mr. Alabama, the class of 2022 who is now going to play for Coach Hugh Jackson at Grambling after having multiple Power 5 offers, including go, uh, initially going to Utah. This is the momentum. This, these are the things you like to see. Now, let's take a look at Mr. Peter Woods. Six foot four, 265-pound defense alignment heading into his senior year. 24-7 Com uh, Composite has him nationally as the 23rd prospect, a top five defense alignment, a top five player in the state of Alabama, Alabama, which has four five stars this year. So being top five is pretty good. Alabama, Alabaster, Alabama, Thompson High School, as we already said. And of course, Alabama, Florida, Clemson, Jackson State make up that top four and Alabama for a long time. As you see, they have a primary recruiter, which always means they're going hard after this prospect for a long time. Alabama was the prohibitive favorites. You even see the experts initially, and it's only one prediction, but had predicted him to go to Alabama. This could be huge in multiple ways because it one will be interesting to see how Nick Saban responds to one of the best players in the state of Alabama after Saban made those false accusations against Coach Prime, against Jackson State, to choose to go to Jackson State and to specifically choose Jackson State after those comments were made. That'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Obviously, Saban, he's trying to duck all the smoke. He's not trying to bring any more heat on himself, so he's not going to respond or say anything. You can't speak about other people's recruits anyway. But that's going to be interesting. It's also going to be interesting to continue to see four and five star high level players out of high school choose the HBCUs. See, and I'm going to talk about this in a live show that I do. But to have Jackson State on the table, I, you don't have to choose them. Let's not. Let's not ever. I'm never going to like say that a young man has to choose Jackson State. But boy, oh boy, would it be major? If you did, wouldn't it be continue to be culture shifting? If you did, wouldn't it continue to bring you more notoriety in the sense of being at an HBCU and as far as NIL deals and things like that? If you did see if you're a five star defensive lineman, like five star quarterbacks, you're going to get a lot of notoriety running backs, even receivers. But on the defensive side of the ball, we're talking corners, safeties, defensive linemen. If you go to Alabama, you go to Clemson, you're kind of supposed to. That's kind of how they roll. That's kind of what they do. They, they get five stars every single year. Like I said, the state of Alabama itself has four to four, five, five stars. Three out of the four, or three out of the five are going to go to Alabama anyway. It's not a big deal. But for a five-star that's used Jackson State or a five-star that's used an HBCU, you're going to get more press than you ever have, than you ever would choosing to go to a traditional power at the FBS level. And I think Peter understands that. That's why he, when he said, when he got that offer from JSU and he put out this statement, let me show you the statement that he originally put out. We've shown it before when JSU offered. And he said, basically, they're in it just as much as anybody else. <clears throat> he put it out via uh, Hayes Fawcett as well. And he had to let the world know, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Just because JSU's getting in this game late doesn't mean they don't have a chance. They have a, it's just as good of a chance as anyone else. And I really like what they got going on down there. Hell, it sounds like, honestly, 
with the statement that had been put out. It sounds like he was waiting <clears throat> on a JSU offer. It sounds like that's what something he was waiting on, and this is potentially something that he could jump on top of when received. And now it's been received, and now a, co <clears throat> a commitment date has been set. And let me go ahead and pull up the statement. And now we just wait. Let me pull up the statement, though, and we'll read it together once again. Uh, this is five-star Peter Wood, who has Jackson State in his top four. <laughs> he says... Jackson State offering me towards the end of my recruitment does nothing to their chances. They can take a seat up there right next to my top three to four. HBCU culture is second to none. The young man's smart. And there's something special about what Coach Prime is building there, which is why the number one player in the class of 2022 chose them. Once again, paying attention, he's very aware. I've been waiting for this offer and feel like I would 100% gel with this program. Now, once again, we're not saying that the young man is going to Jackson State. We're not saying that the young man has to go to Jackson State. But the fact that he appreciated the offer from Coach Prime this much, the fact that he wanted the offer from Coach Prime at Jackson State this bad, and the fact that he has specifically noticed that the number one player in the class 2022, which is Travis Hunter, went to Jackson State. Destroying is hanging out with Travis Hunter. Destroying is down at Jackson State, hanging out with Coach Prime. Not just destroying, but a number of NFL legends, a number of social media people, a number of entertainers and well-known people are hyping up the program that is happening down there at 1400 Lynch Street. This young man is smart. This young man is calculated. This could be July 8th, could be another internet-breaking day for the I Love Jackson State. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think Peter Woods is going to choose the Tigers? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. with the Black Boss Channel with Victory Formation. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe. And I will. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at jlightsey7. That's Instagram and Twitter at jlightsey7. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Peace.